we are going to discuss layer 3 layer 2 and layer 1 devices in this visuals we are going to discuss different devices which are used to build the network and internet work different devices operate at different layers as I have mentioned layer 3 layer 2 and layer 1 devices these devices operate at different layers provide different features features like broadcast domain collision domain etc so let's discuss these devices here you can see some devices layer 3 layer 2 and layer 1 we are going to discuss all of them one by one but starting from layer 3 devices it is router routers forward packets within and across the network determining the paths a router filters the packets based on logical addresses logical addresses are IP addresses layer 3 of OSI model deals with packets as we have discussed in our previous visuals this is why a router is a layer 3 device we are going to operate router and discuss a lot of features and implementation of those features features like DNS DHCP routing OSPF EIGRP etc wide area network security all these things in upcoming visuals I can say that most of CCNA objectives deal with router features and implementation of those features to tell you the major functions of a router are a router does not forward broadcast we will discuss the term broadcast in upcoming visuals now router allows to connect with outside network router is also used to establish connectivity between two or more networks now we use routers serial interfaces through which we get connectivity to outside network well remember that each interface of a router gives a broadcast domain as I have discussed that router allows to connect with multiple networks so this is why routers each interface is considered as a broadcast domain and you can say that router breaks up broadcast domain now let's move towards layer 2 devices and at layer 2 devices we are going to discuss switch and then we'll move to a, towards bridge switches are layer 2 devices now what does switch do well a switch forwards frame between the ports within the local area network a switch filters frames based on MAC addresses we have discussed MAC addresses in our very first visual uh, after discussing the introduction now we know that OSI models layer 2 deals with frames this is why a switch is considered as a layer 2 device well a switch does not has the capacity which a router has a switch forwards broadcast which a, which a router does not and the layer 2 switch is used within local area network where router allows to connect with multiple networks now then why we use switches in our network and internet working we have discussed the functions which a switch does not perform we have to look at what a switch performs we know that layer 2 switch is used within the local area network we use switches for designing our local area network a switch segments the network each port of a switch provides a collision domain the collision domain also known as network segment we are going to discuss switching switching concepts and much more under switching section in upcoming visuals well remember that each interface of a switch provides a separate collision domain whereas a switch provides one broadcast domain as a whole well let's discuss collision domain 
as I said that each interface of a switch provides a separate collision domain. Now there is an example to understand collision domain. Let's assume there are five persons sitting and there is a cake in front of those persons. You came in and cut the pieces of the cake and provide each piece of a cake to each person. This is how a switch works. As I said that each interface of a switch provides a separate collision domain so these pieces of cake will be utilized by these persons. We connect end users to switch ports. It can also be said that a collision domain is a place where a computer which belongs to the user receives and sends data. Now let's move towards bridge the next layer 2 device here in our presentation. Well bridges are also layer 2 devices. Bridges act same like how switches act but there is a difference between bridges and switches. The difference between the aeroplanes which were used in 1980 and something like that and those are and aeroplanes which are in use nowadays. The difference between bridges and switches is a kind of difference which we found in all technologies and in new technologies. In short, switches are advanced form of bridges. Well, bridges provide least number of ports whereas switches provide more ports so that we can have large number of connections. There may be more reasons to distinguish between bridges and switches but one thing is for sure that switches are considered as advanced form of bridges and you are going to found switches in today's networking world. As I mentioned that bridges act same like switches so remember that bridges provide collision domains for each port and a single broadcast domain same like switch. Now we have discussed layer 2 devices. Now let's move towards layer 1 devices. At first we are going to discuss hubs. Well hubs are layer 1 devices. We have discussed that each port of a switch provides a collision domain. But hubs do not provide a separate collision domain for each, for, for its each port. But a hub extends a collision domain. Well, to understand this, we are going to take the same example of a cake to understand hub working. Well, if we change something in that example which we used in a switch discussion well we provide each person a separate piece of cake in that example uh, while discussing switches well if we say to five persons that please eat the cake without providing them pieces of cake separately so they are going to eat the cake from the same dish so this is how a hub works. It extends a collision domain. Well, hubs are also not used in today's networking world. Remember that a hub provides a single collision domain and a single broadcast domain. Well, now, now let's move towards the last device of our discussion. It is repeater. Well, repeaters are layer 1 devices as well. It works quite differently from other devices which we have discussed. Well, repeaters transmit the signals. Well, with this we have discussed uh, all these devices and we are almost done uh, on our dis devices discussion. Now, I am mentioning here some points and do remember these points and if you want you can note these points also. Well, a router breaks a broadcast domain and for switch Switch each ports, switch each ports provide a separate collision domain and a switch as a whole provides a single broadcast domain. Bridges also do the same thing. A hub as a whole provides a single collision domain and a broadcast domain. Well now let's move towards some presentations. These, these type of presentations uh, as you can see right now is presented 
in your Cisco examinations and you have to found in these kind of scenarios that how many collision domains are there and how many broadcast domain are there well with this scenario I have mentioned one broadcast domain one collision domain I'm going to explain all this but in examination you are not going to found the answer you have to tell by yourself that how many collision domains and how many broadcast domain are there for this example we have discussed that a hub extends collision domain so as a whole hub is providing one collision domain and one broadcast domain now let's move towards the second presentation regarding collision domain and broadcast domain here it is in this scenario you can see switch what we have what we have discussed for switch I mentioned a bit earlier in this visual that each port of a switch provides a separate collision domain and a switch as a whole provides a single broadcast domain so there are three connections through this switch so these are three collision domains and one broadcast domain as a whole now let's move towards another example here it is router switch and PCs well with the routers I have mentioned the routers each interface provide a separate broadcast domain so there are two broadcast domains well with the switch each port of a switch provides a separate collision domain with this with this switch you can see three connections are created so these are three collision domains and with this switch there are three uh, connections uh, same like the previous switch so there are also three collision domains so in total six collision domains and two broadcast domains now let's move towards something complicated scenario here you can see router switch bridge hub now well we know that router breaks up broadcast domains so straight through there are three broadcast domains now let's move towards switch we know that a switch provides a separate collision domain for its each port so there are four collision domains now four collision domains and three broadcast domains and here it is bridge bridge also provide same thing that each port of bridge providing a single collision domain so there are three ports so there are three collision domains right now we have found seven collision domains and three broadcast domain now there is hub now I have mentioned a bit earlier in the, in the same visual which we, which we are discussing right now that a hub extends a collision domain so a hub as a whole providing a single collision domain with this we have found eight collision domains and three broadcast domains well maybe you're thinking or not uh, I have mentioned that a switch provide single collision domain uh, for, for its each port and as a whole provide a single broadcast domain well it is happen but when the router is included in the scenario then we have to look router now router these switches bridges hub is connecting through router so we'll look these all these devices through router and we will count broadcast domain through router we are not go, uh, going to count uh, routers broadcast domain separately and then uh, count switch bridge uh, as a whole broadcast domain again no this is not going to happen well if there is no router between connecting with these devices then obviously apart from counting their collision domains we are also going to count a single broadcast domain for these devices now with this I am concluding this visuals we have discussed layer 3 layer 2 and layer 1 devices also look some scenarios to uh, to determine some collision domains and broadcast domains now if you feel any problem you can just replay these visuals and be prepared for upcoming visuals thank you